Right, welcome back everyone. Um, we've got our new grass here today, so let's um, get it unwrapped and get it laid and we're gonna uh, get it fitted. Right, so I've got some of um, this Astro Pro, and that's for uh, just going around the edges, put a bit of, it's a bit of a glue basically, and there's some uh, nails there that you just sink in randomly around the edges, turf nails, so we're going to get this unwrapped now, uh, I'll put you on a bit of time lapse for this and uh, let's see what it looks like. So we've got it all unrolled down here. So basically, I'm just going to go around now, um, stretch it out, trim all the edges up where it wants to be, and we'll put some glue down, glue it down, and we'll put some of them nails in just to um, keep it tensioned. So let's get on with that. Right then, so welcome back. Um, we've got it all laid now and cut to size where we want it. So I'm just going to use this Astro Pro and um, what it says on the recommendations just to go around the edges, put a, a squiggly bead round and then um, get it tensioned how you want it. Put some nails in one side, then tension it and then just go around dotting your nails about. So I'm going to stick on a bit of time lapse for that and um, Let's get it done. Right, welcome back everyone. It's been a few days now since you last see us putting this grass down. We've actually got the furniture on the deck in where we're going to have it now. We've got the patio table here. Um, we have got an umbrella there, but we've actually fitted a new um, awning to the side of the house. So let me just show you that. So we've just fitted that out there and that actually, that's only about halfway out. It actually comes out um, two and a half meters. So, and it's uh, three and a half meters wide. So it's a good size. And uh, we've got the hot tub out here now. That's all filled up. Uh, Say so we've got the table over there and then we've got the workshop over here. I'll, I'll give you a quick peek in here. It's not totally finished yet, but as you can see, we've got um, all the tools up there, sticker boards up. Uh, we've got our tool chest under there and uh, socket set and all that business. We've got a bit of storage space here. Uh, all this stuff's going to be coming out of here. And all this stuff's going. All that's going. And um, we've got a few new power points fitted now, USB ones. So it's quite handy with the charging stuff up and all that. So we've got Chris Reard and United Kingdom talk clock up there. And as I say, the grass is finished now. We're having a 
It's turned out alright. And the next video is going to probably be um, me building another little shed going along here under this window just for the kids bikes and stuff and to get the rest of the other stuff out of my main shed like all the garden equipment so we'll have a long under the long one under the window there about 2.4 meters it's going to be so i've got to move all this lot i've got some slabs to put down and then i've bought a load of feather board there and i've got some uh, battens and some other stuff being delivered so that'll probably be um next week's video hopefully so it's a bit of a garden update videos at the minute just trying to get stuff organized and all that so yeah right so i had a lot of people in the comments saying about putting the artificial grass down on the decking and saying it's going to rot the decking out um well i've done a bit of research into that myself uh, this artificial grass is actually Ford deck and it has um, drainage in it and the decking is well spaced out for water to run through it anyway so I'm not stupid at the end of the day I've done my research on that and um, the decking is going to last it people are saying it's only going to last a couple of years and it's not going to last a couple of years um, I know people that have had artificial grass on decking for the last six years no problems at all decking does rot out eventually as any wood does but um even if it did rot out in two years i've priced it up i could lay another deck in there for i think it worked out about 67 quid so 67 quid in two years it's not a big problem so and to be honest with you the grass will probably wear out before the bloody decking rots out so uh yeah we're not worried about that um it's just the same when we built this shed me and my dad he got all the comments on his video saying it, it won't um it won't last it'll rot out and this shed has actually been up for just over six years now and it hasn't had one leak in it yet and it's still as strong as it was from the day we built it and we've actually moved it in that time and it's this has actually been moved and for the last i think two to three years maybe we had this as a hot tub room and it's had water all over the floor everywhere in here this window was actually taken out and all this side and that front side was all open to the elements and the rain was coming in and it's it's took a lot of hammering really and um it's still as what still as strong as it was on day one and the little shed i had in the corner there, that was only not even that was about 18 months old that shed and within the first well within the first um what was it about four in the first four to six weeks it was actually leaking and the door actually didn't fit straight uh it wasn't cut straight so and that was a proper bolt shed that was and say so this was homemade and it's outlived that other shed um it's actually for the price i think it come in at about 550 quid i think all the materials to get this built and if you try and find something at that price for this sort of shed you'll probably be looking at you'd be looking at double that easy you probably be looking at about a thousand pound to get something using these materials or someone to build it for you so it is this is a solid shed it's been used as um it was i originally it was meant to be a workshop then it got converted to like a hot tub summer house and now it's back to a workshop and it's still solid as it was from day one so yeah and it's never had a, a problem with it so we're going to leave that one here for today and i say the next video it's going to be another garden one we're going to be actually building the little shed out there so i've got about five or six mowers sitting there that are virtually ready to go that need about 15 minutes on them each but it's just having the time to get there i can't get them in here yet because i've still got all the i need to get that shed built so i can clear all this stuff out and then i can start actually getting in here and hopefully bringing you a few more videos and a bit more content so yeah the next one's going to be another shed build i'm afraid and uh this video's got quite a bit of time lapse in it from uh, me laying the grass and a bit of painting i believe i think it was i say it's been a few days now since i've uh, managed to done the first part of this video the yeah. yeah laying the grass wasn't it no you were 
in the no, that was in last week's video. So these two want to do the outro today, don't you? You want to tell them, say thanks for watching, all that, don't you, Harry? Come on in, come in here. No, Harry's gone off shy now. <laughs> Are you going to say it, Evie? Go on, you've been asking all week to do it. Say thanks for watching. No, they're both being silly now, so. Um, thanks for watching, and if you do, hit the like and subscribe button, I really appreciate that. And there's also a link to the wish list um, down below if you want to see that uh, and have a look what's on there. So, yeah, we're going to leave that there for now, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.